Hey everybody, this is Galen from the Portland Chess Shop, and I wanted to create a special video to show people how to use Fritz 13. Uh, it's a pretty common uh, program used by chess players to analyze chess games. I'm sure a lot of people have heard about how you know computers have revolutionized chess, changed the way we think about it, and I want to show you a couple ways to use it because it's honestly kind of confusing. Um, so here is uh, a dashboard and so this is actually it's built on like a MySQL database uh, I think and so this is supposed to be similar to Microsoft Word so you can see or Microsoft Office you can see that this is called the ribbon um, and so you have different options within uh, the ribbon a bunch of different buttons probably too many like you know um, I don't know they have a couple buttons I remember where I was like what what is that button you know I'm trying to do something that's really simple and there's some really funky button instead um, but anyway so let's see you can, you have a bunch of different options when you play um, one thing you can do is you could try play against Fritz uh, you could go probably here to new game uh, you can set up what the type of new game you can even play like chess 960 um, things like that you can set up a blitz game uh, so time probably five minutes zero seconds because that's that's blitz uh, hit OK and then hopefully let's see you could flip it with a uh, control F or you can probably do it by hand let's see I'll do control F I'll play a move against Fritz he'll play immediately I will try to play the Roy Lopez um, I'm afraid of the martial attack so I play here and I castle that's not a castling. That's moving my knight. But anyway, you get the point. Down here, you actually see um, Fritz's analysis. So I'm actually using Crafty 19.19 uh, currently, and I'll explain why that is in a moment. Um, you can see here, uh, this is the line that Fritz thinks is like the best line um, in, in bold. And here is actually analysis. Plus over equals. Uh, that is that means that white is is winning by a little bit um, in this point two nine that's hundreds of a pawn right uh, so that means that white is up point two nine pawns like three tenths of a pawn basically um, depth has something to do with how deep uh, Fritz has seen and this is how long Fritz was thinking um, so now Fritz has thought for thirty four seconds and we see that this is a little bit deeper uh, this could be 305 million uh, positions have been analyzed by Fritz because Fritz really thinks pretty deep. Here's like the current move that it's thinking about. This is something about how um, how many like moves per second it's it's analyzing. Um, so let me explain this a little bit. So four CPUs that I have a I have a I actually have six cores on my processor. I built my own computer, so I have the capability of using all six cores to play and. Uh, more processing power, more RAM means that you can see deeper in the game. So you, Topolov, for example, has like a supercomputer uh, that he uses to analyze his games, and that's part of his edge. Uh, Nakamura, his second, second is like his coach, kind of. Um, his second isn't even that strong of a chess player, but he's more of like a computer wizard. So under, let's see, so there's a couple different options. Here's the, uh, here's the notation so far. There's also a score sheet that'll show us this um, live book. This will probably show us the different games in which uh, this has been played. This is, I suppose, a rare variation, uh, so we don't have any there. Opening book that'll give us an opening book. You might have to sync the opening book with what you want. Um, I like the infinite analysis button. So, like, if I was playing this at a coffee shop last night, um, I can see. Okay, you know, here's some different options under the live analysis. We see now we see uh, three different possible moves, right? So like knight d4, um, d6, which is this move, uh, or d5, which is really opening the center. And what uh, Fritz thinks would be the analysis would be the best moves against those those different moves. So I'm not sure what this thing is. Fritz is really like a little weird. If you right click, you have some options. You can um, like put the evaluation pane. So this actually shows. Um, how much each player is winning by to some extent it's kind of weird um, so let's see we could do a n new game call this you know no result um, okay so you can open different things uh, let me show you so open chess media file I like watching chess media files um, I own some which is awesome 
So like attacking the king for experts, I have a few others. Um, let's see, my guess, best games are the Spanish. This is this is Shirov. So you just double click it, and Shirov basically stops t starts talking. I would probably close these three. It looks useless. So here, uh, Shirov is explaining the Roy Lopez opening. So this is a really good way to learn um, to watch these videos. So we have Shirov on the right and the position that he's talking about on the left. Uh, it's engaging. It's pretty interesting. It's also Shirov is a great player. So that's a good way to learn. Um, so if we do, let's see, control. If we do, if we exit out of this. Let's see. Uh, hit stop to exit out of this. I think. Now we can go. Hmm. Stop. Hmm. If I close this, can I open? No. See, it's kind of a weird, weird program. Um, I knew that you know this wouldn't go incredibly smoothly, just because. I don't know, like it's a powerful it's a powerful program, but you also have to really kind of know how to use it and it just seems like there's kind of some bugs and things like that. So what will I do? All right, so I reopen Fritz. Um all right, so I can open something else. I can just go straight to open and open this King's Gambit. So my friend uh Evan Jew um, created an opening analysis for me. So I opened it, but it didn't even show me what it is. So here is the notation. So I'm going to have to move this probably over. Um, I really want this to be on the right. So here is, here's the, the notation um, that he talked about. He was telling me how to play the King's Gambit. Uh, we could flip the board by right-clicking flip board. So I get to see the white side. So this is one way to see the position. Normally I have this um, this no notation on the on the side. God, it just looks terrible, huh? How not to use Fritz thirteen? That's what I'm going to call this, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, so, bunch of different buttons across here. Um, engine. I'll show you how you can like change the main engine. So, for example, I can change the engine to Fritz 13. If you have like Houdini or Ribka or something, uh, you would also have those options. Under Advanced, um, there's like engine parameters. You can try to mess with this to optimize your Fritz. Um, the reason why I was using Crafty is actually I wasn't able to figure out how to uh, make Fritz use more than one um, core at the same time. So. Let's see, what else can you do? Yeah, so if I open, let's say I'll open um, a game of mine. I probably have other games. Let me see, open. So I'm going to open, I'm going to try to navigate to, I think I have something called chess games right here, perfect. Um, STEM games, so these are games that Grandmaster played where I was interested. So I got to go to PGN files. So database files are .cbh. PGN is .pgn. And uh, here's like a, an Aronian Rosevich game. I double click it. Here it opens the game. I know it's not even really showing me, but I'm going to open the notation. I'm really going to have to figure out how to get this notation to go on the side. All right. Well, it looks like I could maybe put it here. So here's the notation. And now, so I have a couple options. I can, so let's jump to the middle. So here's a position in the game. And uh, so under infinite analysis, geez, this is really like how not to use Fritz 13. So under infinite analysis, here is, um, here is like the analysis, but you also have other options um, other than just infinite analysis. You can uh, do you could do more in-depth analysis. Here we go under analysis. So we have like, let's check this, analyze the full game with variations, um, deep position analysis, blunder check, full analysis. So I think full analysis is is pretty good option. You get this guy who's, this guy is awesome. I definitely want to play chess with this guy. Um, so verbose, graphical, it means that it'll show you graphically and verbally uh, what you should have done. 
Um, calculation time, you can set this to be take a while or be really short. Let's do one second um, per move. And we could do it for both sides. We could do it just for one. Uh, and let's see. So we then threshold. So threshold is how many tenths of a pawn we want to hear about the different um, positions. So like if we want to hear, it's like how big of blunders do you want to hear about? Because if you're like threshold zero, then every time Fritz thinks that there's like a move that's just slightly, slightly better, then it'll tell you all about it, like with lots of analysis. So it's better to set the threshold, you know, if you're a beginner, threshold of like two is okay. And then you find out that like, oh my God, I made a blunder. Like I gave away, you know, a full piece or something. Um, if you're a little bit better than like half a pawn threshold is uh, more reasonable. Just depends on like how large uh, of mistakes you make as a player in a scale. So now it changed this. We have back to the full analysis. It's going to analyze the game. Well, well. So under view, uh, you have a few different options. You can, you know, set up the analysis board. I don't know whatever chatter is. Uh, so there's so just just a lot of different buttons. I don't know, like. I encourage you to play with it. An engine match would obviously be pretty cool. I would like to do that. So yeah, there's there's some some different options. I think you can you can learn a lot if you learn to use this program. Um, it's it's not too bad. You here you can change the color of the squares and the pieces, which is just fine. Um, these pieces look kind of awesome, but I'll set them back. Let's see. Under insert, oh yeah, so you can uh, create like text before move, um, like or let, or let's do after C4, like text after move, I like this move. Obviously, you can say something more advanced, but here it says it on the notation, so you can actually like um, you know have a coach analyze the game for you, send it to you. You can open it with verbal annotations. You can do it if you're a coach, etc. Uh, you can analyze positions pretty pretty in depth with Fritz, um, and that's really the ad advantage of it. So I don't know. You, I've tried playing Fritz before. Um, that's always kind of interesting. He plays pretty well. I don't know. So I guess that's that's the end of this commentary. Hopefully you learned something theoretically. All right. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Bye.